Today, I'm very excited to show you the Vision Master E213 from Helltech, which is a new device with an e-ink display. E-ink means it basically conserves much more energy on your mesh testing device because the display uh, doesn't take up too much energy. The next wonderful thing about this device is that it comes with a much larger screen, almost more than four times larger than the Helltech V3. Great for many people like us who prefer to see things with a larger phone. It comes with a small antenna uh, that you can use to put into your case, but I prefer an SMA antenna. So I have a separate leftover antenna that I'll be using for this demonstration. So we also prepare a battery. I have a 1000 mAh battery and now we begin the installation. So now proceed uh, to make sure you print the three parts, the bottom tray, the upper cover and the three buttons. This is designed to be requiring no screws so it make it very easy for installation. So you want to make sure you connect the right one uh, for the antenna. Here you see the type C. So the antenna connector is right over here, right at the other end. So make sure you connect the correct one. Next connect the battery. So before we uh, basically proceed with putting into the case, we also want to flash the latest firmware. So this device comes of course with a Type-C connector that you can connect using a cable to your computer to flash. Okay. Uh, what is needed in the next step is that we actually need to shut down the device first because we need to remove the antenna for installation purposes. Okay, so left button, the first one, click and hold until you see the shutting down status appearing on the screen. Then after that, remove the antenna as well as the spacers and nut. Then place the battery into the bottom tray and you can use some blue tag to secure it in place. You want to place the battery about 1 to 2 cm away from the edge. So if you need it, just do an adjustment accordingly until about 1 to 2 cm away from the edge. Okay. Once that is done, you can proceed to place uh, the buttons in. So you can put all the three buttons in. So once all the buttons are in, we'll go in to place the SMA connector through. If you want to, you can put some blue tag here to make sure that it doesn't move around too much. Next, place the display in. Make sure the wires are tucked nicely inside. Make sure that the buttons um, are aligned properly uh, with the buttons on the board itself. Also, make sure that the top layer is leveled well with the top of the board. Next, take the top cover and check the alignment. So this is designed to be screwless. So there are some hinges that are put in place. You see the position are all nicely done. You want to make sure you slot in through the SMA connector first, okay? And slowly push it in and then align the hinges and then just slide and push it in. It should lock quite nicely in place. So this is done. Next, we are going to place back the nuts uh, for the SMA connector and the spacers. Okay, so go ahead and do that now. And now finally, we put in the antenna. So that's done. So we have a very nice case now. You can bring around and use your new Vision Master 213. Hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'll be sharing about different ways to power up your mesh testing device besides using the normal batteries. To support this channel, simply click like and subscribe and you can be informed of our latest videos.